Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 a video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering all of the latest news for Fallout 76, including an old glitch that has returned to Fallout 76, allowing you to put a jetpack on pretty much any piece of power armor. On top of that as well, there's also a glitch that has recently been patched out, which didn't actually get put down in the patch notes, so I'll be covering that as well. On top of that, I will also be covering all of this weekend's antics, so make sure to stay tuned for that so you know exactly what's going on in the game. For now though guys we're going to dive straight in so if you've enjoyed don't forget to click on that like button and make sure to subscribe. Let's dive straight in. Alright ladies and gentlemen the first thing that I want to cover today is the new jetpack glitch that has returned into Fallout 76. Basically there used to be an old glitch which would allow you to put a jetpack onto other pieces of power armor such as your helmet, your left leg, right leg, whichever one it, you wanted it to be you could place it on that allowing you to then put a different mod on your chest piece. So ideally you stick it on your helmet and then you use your chest piece for something else. Now in the last week this has been found and you can actually do it again. I don't know if this was something in the recent patch or it was been there all this time ever since this item came into the shop. But here we go. So to do this what you're going to need is number one the pit recruitment bundle. It is an expensive bundle and you have to buy it through either Steam, the Xbox store or the PlayStation store. In the UK it's worth $24.99 so I'm going to guess in the US it's probably around $30. This will allow you to have the Fanatics Power Armor paint. Now on top of that you will also need the plan for the Hellcat Jetpack. You can buy this from any gold bullion vendor including Vault 79, Creator or Foundation. It's quite a pricey plan at 3000 gold but once you've got it you can then set up a set of Hellcat Power Armor and apply the Hellcat Jetpack to any piece of the Power Armor you wish. Now if you choose to put it on maybe the helmet, this would then free up other pieces of armour to have different mods which the helmet cannot. Be advised, this probably will get patched out, so if you want to make use of it, now is the time to do it. Although, it is going to be a bit of a pricey thing, and it's up to you if you want to do it or not. Whether or not this is an exploit, I'm not entirely sure. I suppose you could argue it is, since you're kind of exploiting a glitch in the system, but it's not exactly a game-breaking one, so I'd like to think there'd be no issues with it, but who knows. Now a glitch which has recently disappeared out of the game, basically what we used to be able to do was stack survival tents. This would allow you to put your survival tent really high up in the air, maybe build in certain locations which you couldn't before, or get an advantage in the end game boss fights, keeping you well away from the enemies on the ground. In the last patch this seems to have been patched out, we did know it was going to come in the PTS, uh, so like the December update, but it seems to have already been entered into the game, as you can see on screen you can no longer do it, even with the default survival tent. Also a quick note there is currently an ongoing bug with expeditions where when you complete it it doesn't tell you that you've unlocked any legendary items. I've had a few people commenting in the comments below saying that they're not getting legendaries. Just to let you know guys when you complete the expeditions you are still getting legendaries just there's a visual bug where it's not showing up in the reward section. Check your new items in your pit boy and they should be displayed there. Now coming into this weekend's antics, we've got a few different things going on, so here we go. First of all, we've got the Double Mutations Weekend kicking off in Daily Ops. This will make Daily Ops a little bit more challenging if you enjoy it, and yeah, just a little bit more fun for you there. Also, if you're low on gold, maybe you want to build up some gold to buy that jetpack for the Hellcat Power Armor, then it is the Gold Rush Weekend. You can get double the gold from vendors, so make sure to make the most of it while you can. To fit in with the Gold Rush weekend as well, it is also going to be Minerva's big sale this weekend, so if there's anything that you haven't got yet and she's got it in your inventories, make the most of it because it might be a few weeks before you see it again. If you want to see a full Minerva's inventory, I have done a video covering it, so I'll link that in the top corner of this video for you to go and check out. All three of these events as well, guys, will be on from November the 3rd up until November the 7th, so make the most of them over them four days. Anyways, guys, that is it for today, so I hope you all enjoyed this little news update. If you found it helpful or enjoyable, make sure to click on that like button, and if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. I'm sorry if I've sounded a little bit off, my nose is blocked and I'm full of cold, but I'm still powering on through. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.